Alrighty. I'm here to use my thought on Nintendo's up-and-coming system, called Wii U, with you emphasizing the primary gaming demographic, the hardcore gamers. I missed the Microsoft and Sony press conferences, because they came way too early this year, but I managed to catch Nintendo's and they introduced the Wii U. It looked very cool and I was liking what you could be able to do with this thing, but I need to see more before I'm sold on it, and there's a good chance that I will be. I mean it's still in the early stages of development, but I can't wait what else they have to offer for this new console. I can't wait to see the new Smash Brothers game and how you can play it using both Wii U and 3DS. I stumbled across a rather very ignorant and lackluster article from a guy named Nick Moore at GamingRing.com called E3 2011 Companies Having Bad Days, Nintendo. It looks like a smaller Wii with a rather obnoxious looking input controller. Really, Nintendo? Really? There was so much you could have done with it, but instead you alienate even more of the gaming community. Alright, what the fuck is this asshole's problem? This is rather a new and innovative controller. You don't even need the friggin' TV to play. How cool is that? I couldn't even have thought of anything better as something new. I thought it was really cool when Nintendo revealed the Wii at E3 2005, and they did it again this year. What innovations do you even see from Microsoft and Sony when they launch new consoles? None. When they plan innovation, it's derived from Nintendo's innovation and it's when these consoles are in the middle of their cycles. What did 360 and PS3 offer at launch from its predecessors? Graphics. Online features. Sure, people like that, but Nintendo proves you don't need to have fun with eye rendering or online multiplayer. I think they're pointless, if you ask me. I know because I own a 360, and the only time I play online multiplayer is for achievements. Bottom line, Microsoft and Sony doesn't do innovation until Nintendo does it first. Without the Wii, you wouldn't have your little Kinect, your PS Move, your avatars, your sack boys, your home, none of that. Hell, what does Vita have? Better graphics, and all the features the 3DS has. Wow. That really impresses me. Okay, let's move on. The Wii gets a couple titles such as Mario and Sonic at the 2012 London Olympics, your usual Fisher Price S Wii games, and of course Legend of Zelda. No legitimate third party developed games at all for it. Everything is focused on the 3DS. Not to say that the 3DS didn't he live up to expectations and beyond because it did with all its first party games, but if you're going to put so much hype into a system and have nothing to show for it, then you re have it on that day. This guy is a complete idiot, and I totally doubt he's even seen the press conference, because they have a great amount of third party support backing the Wii U. You've seen all these developers say some testimonials, and even there was a rep from EA to close the show. Whatever that guy's name was, he said he sees a lot of potential with making sports games for the Wii U. You also have representation from THQ, Ubisoft, Namco Bandai, Team Ninja, Fifth Cell, Various Visions, and LEGO so far. By the way, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games is developed by Sega, not Nintendo. They need to get their creative juices flowing again and actually bring on legitimate third-party support and have them be exclusives. Madden and Ninja Gaiden Freedom Count. The only thing that they're showing that is even possibly game-related for the Wii U is a prop with Ninja Gaiden playing on the TV. Okay, for over a decade now, Nintendo had the short end of the stick with third-party development. The GameCube and the Wii had to go without franchises like Tekken, Assassin's Creed, Ninja Gaiden, Batman, Arkham Asylum, Darksiders, FIFA Soccer, and a lot more. Now that these great game franchises are finally going to be on Nintendo consoles, it's still not good enough for some people. Not to mention, there have been a whole bunch of exclusive games for the Wii. I'm thrilled to finally play Tekken on a Nintendo console, Assassin's Creed, Batman, and I can't wait for what else is going to be announced, because hardware doesn't seem like it can get any better and I'm glad the Wii U catches up to it. 
people like him I would consider hypocritical, because the type of ridicule he shows would be the kind that made fun of Nintendo for not having the same games as PlayStation and Xbox in the first place. Seems like Mr. Moore is using his position to write articles for Gaming Ring to be anti-Nintendo mark or fanboy, whatever you want to put it. I like Gaming Ring though, I get exclusive news for WWE games there, even though their cameramen and interviewers suck ass, they got insight. And I know this guy Nick Moore has opinions, but when it looks as though he hasn't even watched the presser or did any research at all on the Wii U so far, it sucks. I mean, what did Microsoft show to win the fans over? I hate Kinect and Halo. I play the Xbox often but their conference was so weak.